Russell, 0. .60. He was quickest off the blocks on that with Held, who was .59. Held has the speed. He was 22-7 going out in the semifinals right there with the Red Cat, two lanes above him. That's Caleb Russell coming in the wall. Let's see what he hits. Splits here, 22-4 going out. Look at that turn. Last one to come up off that wall. Held hanging in there in six one. beneath him. It is Coleman Stewart in seven. The advantage for Dressel here. As they pass 25 meters to go, Dressel trying to hold off Held oh in Lord. six. Apple starting to close. Oh, He's my God. Did Apple go well? Caleb Dressel in lane four to the wall and to Tokyo on the U.S. team. 47 Oh, did he get nine. four? Oh, the my time, God. Equaling the top record swim in the U.S. all time. Oh my god. Away from making that team. Just an amazing career at Texas. You see that? What are you looking at time wise in this second semifinal? Well, we look at three guys under 210 already. And again, the second heat was always so much more valuable. And it, well, there was never more evidence than the second heat of the women's 200 flight. Right. Remember that? Yep. Three women made it from the first semi, but five made it in the second semi because they know, knew exactly what they had to do. So again, the luxury of being in the second semi, but my guess is still, you've got to be 210 low. A 210-7 is sitting in fourth right now. Jake Foster touching first after 50 meters. Foster coming up a personal best in the prelims in this event. How do you like to be Matt Fowler? At 18 years of age, the only teenager of all 16 swimmers. And he's sandwiched between an Olympic gold medalist and Will Lacombe, one of the best in the world. And he will need to have some kind of second half to duplicate what he did in the prelims. I think if he goes 2 10 one that will make it back, but boy, he's got a lot of room to make up. Really fell behind that first hundred. He swims out of the greater Somerset County YMCA there at the Storm Team in New Jersey. It was Cordes in five with the advantage halfway through. Cordes looking so smooth right now. This is such a hard stroke to master, Mike, because the timing and the coordination always have to be perfect. I've always loved Kevin Cordes' stroke. It, ever since I first saw him swimming in high school, I thought he was going to be a star. And he definitely was a star in college. And now, as a veteran, he's still kind of hanging in there. And at 27 years old, as you said, just missing out. And here comes Fallon right above him. Great comeback. Look at Fallon. He was, what was he at the 100? He was 8. 1.8 seconds back. And he's come all the way back here. Fallon in 4, pushing Cordes in 5. And Fallon, who touched first. Oh, my God. Speed or the power of Michael Andrew on the first 50. In fact, he might be a full second ahead of anybody else in the field on his way out. The only way he loses this race if he starts to look around, and that's what his coach Peter said. He just needs to swim his own race and he'll be just fine. 58 1 will make the team. He did it twice yesterday. Andrew in lane four, touches first after 50 meters. Nick Fink right next to him is second. 26 9, about six tenths ahead of Nick Fink. Now, Nick Fink had a tremendous swim in semi. Oh, he wow. will swim better on the back half than Michael Andrew is oh, right next to him there in lane five. Looking oh, off some pressure, and Andrew Wilson above. Andrew in lane three also. With some pressure oh, on God. Michael Andrew in lane Michael four. Andrew in four. Fink in five. Oh, Andrew Wilson in three. They come to the wall together, and it's Michael Andrew. Making the U.S. Olympic team. And all the promise realized. He's going to Tokyo. He beat Andrew Wilson by one one hundredth of a second. And with the top two likely going to the Olympics, you always look at third in trials. And Nick Fink was six one hundredth of a second shy of second place. I just saw that. And... and the great news about Nick Fink, six 100s away, is he has a great 200 press stroke. So he'll be back, but the story is Michael Andrew finally 
And yes, Mom, you, your prayers have been answered. Oh, let's go Lucky. Oh, yes, come on. I love to compete. No matter what kind of shape I was in, I was always going to leave absolutely every ounce of it in the water. What does Andrew have to do here? I said last night he cannot be faster than the 150 he did there. If he's even faster, oh, yeah, 23 7. He was 23 9, Michael. I mean, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's out quick. You know, you'll, you'll see some of the guys in the 100 fly that are out slower than that coming up. Right? So, uh, to be out that fast, you know, I, the Come on, Lofty. Let's, let's go. Get second. Come on. I mean, I don't think he's got a chance at first. Come on. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta pick it up, pick it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pick it up. Oh, God. I, I don't know. I don't know. His stroke rate's slow, too. Really slow. Really, really slow. He's fifth. He's fifth. Oh, no. There's a lot of catching up to do. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's slow turn as well. Oh, no. Come on, Lockie. Come on, come on. Sprint, sprint. He's done. He's the shorter your stroke gets, Stop the him. more you start slipping water and you go nowhere. That's the world record line. Lochte is well off the pace, trying to mount the late charge. It will not be enough. Andrew with another impression shot here in Omaha. Bro, you got like Michael seven. Andrew wins the 200 IM and Chase Kalish comes in second. Like two double O's. Oh my God.